France has witnessed massive protests, as Macron has required to push through unpopular reforms to France's pension system, including increasing the retirement age to 64 from 62, insisting the changes are necessary for the system to be financially viable. For his part, French economy minister Bruno Le Maire, during an informal meeting of EU finance ministers and central bank governors in Sweden, vowed that the government will push ahead with structural reforms after credit agency Fitch pointed to social unrest over the planned pension reforms and downgraded the country's debtworthiness. I have noted Fitch's decision. It is based on doubt about the ability of the French government to pass reforms. I just want to remind you that the last months have proven the exact opposite. Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire, who recently presented a government plan to bring deficit back in line with EU targets by 2027, and a line that France is able to continue implementing structural reforms, and highlighted the government's total determination to restore the nation's public finances, accelerate the country's debt reduction, and speed up the reduction of public spending. Les faits infirme. I believe that the facts invalidate Fitch's assessment. We're able to implement structural reforms, and we will continue to implement structural reforms for the country. As Le Maire defended his government's plan, Fitch argued that the social and political pressures, which he said were reflected in the protest against President Emmanuel Macron's pension reform bill, will complicate fiscal consolidation, and also warned that avoiding parliamentary vote to push through the bill could probably further strengthen radical and anti-establishment forces. Political deadlock and sometimes violent social movements pose a risk to Macron's reform agenda and could create pressures for more expansionary fiscal policy or a reversal of previous reforms. All in all, by this downgrade, Fitch perceives France as a riskier venture for investors than previously. This could oblige France to pay higher interest rates on money it borrows, potentially fixing its debt burden even more difficult going forward. The AA rating France previously had was already poor by the standards of the G7 economy. Now being placed at AA- means it's seen as roughly as reliable as the UK.